exercise and this time we're going to do it in the D position here and we're going to do a very common chord progression for this style of music a 1-4-1-5 one, one, chord progression and I've created three arrangements and again we're going to focus really on adding um, bass walks and fills and ornamentations in our rhythm plane to provide energy and kind of spice things up so that first arrangement is going to be very basic we're going to take a look at some very common uh, moves and bass walks and then we're going to build upon that for the second and third arrangement and we're going to have a little fun especially that third time through a little bit more chromatic and uh, little, you know some funner stuff oh. you know some some moves like that so a lot of fun to play adding a lot of energy to our rhythm and uh, yeah, if you'd like to check out Access in the full length version, as just, just a preview here, you can click the link below and it will shoot you onto my website. And you can join as a premier member for a monthly, quarterly, or yearly fee and access the full length version for this one and over 350 video lessons, all three of my courses, and the video exchange program. Now, this lesson is going to come with about 35 to 40 minutes of video, PDF tabs for all three arrangements, got everything written up and four audio backing tracks to help you work your speed up, all right? So yeah, I got all the tools necessary to master this, to get into the nuances of this style of rhythm playing and just spice everything up for you so you can have a little fun when you're playing those uh, basic chords, all right? So uh, for now, we'll start walking through the first few measures of the first arrangement. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy. All right, let's go ahead and start walking through uh, this bluegrass old time rhythm exercise here in D position, or the key of D. And I'm going to play these first few measures and I'm going to break everything down uh, step by step. And those first few measures really we just have what uh, I call a vamp. And we're just going to kind of hang on the D chord, do a little ornamentation, a little hammer on thing. Just to kind of get us set up, get us going. Um, be, kind of, be kind of the same thing as, you know, maybe the fiddles uh, kind of kicking it off with some with some droning. You know, they call them potatoes or you know, or peeling taters, if you ever heard of that. But um, that's kind of what's going on here. We're just kind of setting everything up, getting a tempo, and finding our groove with it. And um, so, yeah, I'm going to play these these four little, or these three little vamp measures. And um, be, pay attention to the markings below the staff. They're pick directions. The staples are downs. The Vs are the up. All right. And so here it is. One, two, one, two, three, four. Now, as you see there, at the end of measure two, it says four times, and there is a repeat symbol there, the double line, double dot. And, yeah, we're going to play those two measures four times, then go on to measure three. Okay, and you can essentially do these first two measures as many times as you'd like, six, eight, ten, maybe only twice. But, again, the point of it is just to find our tempo, find our groove, and it's just kind of a cool little thing to kind of set the mood, set the atmosphere here. Okay, pretty 
simple, kind of an, you know, largely in the alternate bass strumming pattern, which we're going to be doing all over the place. And so that first measure there is open D, then we strum the D chord. And that's what that 2-3-2, two, two, you see there's two eighth notes connected, okay? They're beamed together, and it's 2-3-2, two, 2-3-2. Three, two, two, three, two. That's what, um, essentially, what we're going to see a lot of, and it means kind of to strum the D chord, or whatever chord we're on, in this case D, of course, okay? And then zero to hammer on the A string. Okay, use my first finger. And then I'm gonna strum. Now, you know, I might have the open G, you might hit the open high E, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, I'm kinda sticking to those middle three strings, the B, G, and the D. If you hit again, if you hit that high E open, that's okay. It kind of gives it a D9 sound, but and then the next measure we just do a straight up alternate bass strumming, open D strum, A string strum. Then you repeat back to the first measure, D string strum, then the hammer on. Okay, so this will sound, that that strum right there will sound again a little bit more suspended or open because we have the open G string. That's totally cool, and that's that sounds nice. Three and four and one, and one more time, beginning. And then we're gonna go on to the next measure. Open D, open A, second fret, fourth fret. Okay, then we do a nice little walk uh, to kind of start the piece, to tell the listener, to tell the band that we're, we're starting the chord progression, you know? And when I hear that, that's a signal to my ear, to the listener's ear, to the musician's ear, that we're, we're gonna start the uh, chord progression of the piece. Okay. Um, so again, that little vamp, uh, those two measures, we play those two measures four times, and then we, um, that fourth time, you go on to the third measure. So use the audio backing tracks and make sure you listen really closely. But I'm going to do it one more time, and then we're going to move on here. So uh, those first three measures, <laughs> I'm going to play them as written. So repeating the first two four times. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. There's a little pickup into the beginning of the piece. All right, so let's put those next four measures on the screen there. So measures four, five, six, and seven, kind of the start again of the chord progression. They sound like this. Two, a one, two, three, four. Okay, some very basic um, bass walks going to the G chord and then back to the D chord. And of course, in between, especially for this, well, for all the arrangements, but right here in this first one, you know, we're doing a lot of alternate bass strumming patterns with a few walks inserted. So, you know, measure four is just the alternate bass strumming pattern for the D chord. D string, strum, A string, strum, okay? Measure five, open D, strum, and then open E, Second fret E, and then we're gonna to get to a G chord. So third fret low E. Okay, and we're gonna set up for that G chord. So we play that low note, we strum G, and then open D, strum. Third fret low E again, strum, and then two, three on the A. open D after that. So again, we're doing a little bass walk to the G chord and then a bass walk leaving the G and going to the D. Let me play all four of those again in context. So one, two, three, four. One, two, 
again go all right in a lot of these bass walks in the first um or i should say a lot of the bass walks are going to have a you know i'm going to have a rhythmic theme kind of throughout each arrangement and in this first arrangement the typical move I do is I do a bass walk starting on beat three um, of the measure before we change. So, you know, as you notice, three, four, one, three, four, one. Okay, so we'll do it again here when we go to the A, but a lot of times here uh, I'm doing the bass run starting on beat three or on beat threes and four, okay? Um, let me just do it up to speed. One, two, three, four. There it is. Let's move on to the next few measures here. Measure eight. One, two, three, four. All right. So we walked back to D, right? Eight is just an alternate strumming pattern for the D, so open D, strum, A string, strum, next measure, D string, strum, and then we're going to walk down to the A chord, so 4th fret A, 2nd fret A, and then it'll be A chord, A string, and I'm going to bar my A a lot of the time. Um, it doesn't really matter how you choose to play your A, there's so many different ways. You can finger it like this like this, like this, all of them will work. I often bar, okay? I often bar. So my finger's right there and I'm comfortable with it. So yeah, fourth fret, second fret, and then open A, and then it's strum, low E, strum. And then here we get a little more of a chromatic walk. Um, and it fills up the whole measure, so open A, second fret, third fret, fourth fret, we're gonna see that one again. It's pretty common there. And it'll end on an open D. That'll be the downbeat of measure 12. Let me play all four of those in context. One, two, three, four. So there's the first 10 measures there, that first arrangement. Let's move on when you are ready. One, two, three. 